Yo guys, welcome back yet again to another video. Today we're doing a review on the Sancor Liberty 3 Pros and not the Liberty 4s, which I was actually expecting to get this year. Unfortunately, I think the biggest reason why that hasn't happened is because the marketing has changed at Sancor. Uh, I've noticed this because the old email contact isn't working and the new marketing is very different to the original one that they had. And I think that means they are being a little bit more restrictive with who they are sending products to and generally like, who they want to get involved with so I think they've kind of blacklisted my channel for now until I become a bigger creator but uh, we had a good run with Soundcore and I'm sure we will collaborate again in the future again I'm not biased because Soundcore did collaborations with me I always loved their products and I did reviews on their products before they even started sending stuff out so like the Soundcore Motion Plus was the last kind of speaker that I brought and then they sent me a second one to kind of do a review with the dual speakers and then kind of from then I've pretty much had every sound core product for free not that that has changed anything in terms of my view because i've actually brought the liberty 3 pros with my own money i never actually got a free sample or anything like that with those so this is even more unbiased if you want to call it that since i wasn't sent this out at all and i'm still going to be doing a solid good unbiased review as i always do i think that's why soundcore originally liked me because they never really disappointed me with any of their products and if there was any gripes and this even goes for fifine who i'm currently collaborating with quite a lot as you can tell by the mic i would have brought this mic anyway i think regardless of whether i got sent this for free or not and i'm selling you that because it's such a good mic and the xlr support is soon going to be realized on these videos and i'll be doing a complete rundown of the fifine sc3 which should be coming in the next week granted amazon brings it back in stock and obviously i'll be doing a review with fifine for now though we're going to be talking about my favorite set of earphones i've actually ever gotten and that is the soundcore liberty 3 pros these things are absolutely dope and I'm going to be getting into why, why I think these are some of the best purchases you'll ever make, unless you obviously buy the Soundcore Liberty 4s because you prefer the design. But um, before we do that, I am going to say one thing. I know it can get very boring watching someone constantly speaking to a camera, and that's why when I get home, I'm going to try and make a setup so I can do things like B-rolls, uh, and that will just mean I'll be able to buy lighting and have like a nice setup in a corner, just so it's not boring to any of you, as I can understand why, you know, these videos can be a little bit tedious to watch but I'm hoping I can make this a little bit more fun by having pictures pop up and equalizer settings and hopefully some stupid zoom-ins on my face and stuff but yeah I do want to make my videos not necessarily more professional but give you more to look at so you're not completely bored so I know everyone's got ADHD these days I know that's not a joke because I have it myself genuinely but most of the generation is just glued on this 30 second fucking TikTok shit so you know anyway <laughs> getting back to it the Soundcore Liberty 4 Pros what makes these good earphones now if you guys watched my soundcore a40 review uh, i think it was about a month or two ago now possibly even longer uh, time's been flying let's be real essentially you're getting soundcore a40s i know right you're probably confused by that but let me let me explain so you're getting more premium soundcore a40s in terms of build quality and stuff like that the fit in my personal opinion of the liberty 3 pros isn't great compared to the a40s the a40s are very comfortable compact in fact they're easily some of the most comfort based earphones i've ever had in my ears so in terms of earphones comfort is unbeatable on the a40s but these aren't bad they're just a little bit heavier and they stick out a bit more and whatnot but there's a reason for that these were designed with a dual coaxial driver now what this means is you've essentially got the soundcore a40s but then you have this what they call a dual coaxial driver and this coaxial driver sits on top of the main driver so you're able to get very very crispy bass really nice treble beautiful highs amazing vocals great mids great everything and this is all because like i said the a40s imagine the liberty 3 pros but without the tweeter on top of it essentially now imagine putting the tweeter on top of that and boosting them just a little bit further and that's exactly what the Liberty 3 Pros do. I genuinely think sound wise, you know, if the tweeter wasn't there, they'd be identical. And that's what I mean by the A40s is one of the best I've tried in terms of a single driver earphone. Now I'm not going to be going on about IEMs, in-ear monitors or anything like that, because I understand these guys can have up to three drivers, possibly even four in them to make even more sound separation and stage. But we're not going to go there. We're talking about these specifically. And a lot of the time those earphones cost a bomb, like 300 pound onwards for the money though in comparison to most other earphones you're going to hear the driver quality the driver performance and even 
set with my equalizer. These are the best earphones you're simply going to get for the money. And I'm going to show you a little fit test. So you put these in and they're pretty comfortable, but they do ache after a few hours, which the A40s didn't. But I don't wear these more than an hour usually, unless I'm on a flight or a bus or something like that. But that's fucking rare because I don't really go anywhere. But yeah, if you look at them, they're nice. They fit. They actually look good in the white as well. If you're wearing white or gray or anything like that, these, these look great. But currently, I've got transparency mode on in the voice mode so I can hear myself perfectly. I can hear my surroundings. Everything's quite nice. It's like having in-ear monitoring on a microphone, but of course in your ears. And you can just hold down on the side and we can go to noise cancelling. And now I can't hear anything. I can just about hear myself, but it's a bit, bit much. All the fan noise in the room is now gone. I can't hear the fans at all. With transparency, it was like ear fun. You know what I mean? And then, of course, you will have a normal mode, but transparency is honestly the best. Like when I'm speaking to people, I could have the volume about a quarter way, hear the music perfectly, and I can still hear everyone around me having conversations and stuff. So I'm a bit of a weird guy. I like to listen to music and I don't really want it to be interrupted. But then if I kind of want to talk at the same time, it's, it's very useful. I would say that the transparency mode is roughly the same as the A40s. The noise cancelling on these, I would probably say is a tiny wincy bit better, but it's nothing special. And that's not to say that the A40s noise cancelling is bad, it wasn't. And these definitely aren't either. It all works great. Uh, I'm sure the Liberty 4s upgraded many different things. A lot of people are saying the Liberty 4s are better than the 3 Pros. I haven't tried them. I, like I say, I brought these for myself, but I was going to try and get a pair of Liberty 4s from Soundcore. But as I say, the marketing's changed now. The team doesn't even contact me anymore. So I'm not holding a grudge against them or anything like that. I'm still going to be doing reviews on products that I pick up from them because I'm sure I will. Uh, just at the moment, I've kind of got everything that I kind of want. I've got a Motion Plus, a Motion Boom Plus. I've got these and I don't really see any reason to get anything else just yet until either these die or that dies or even that dies, you know? Unless they can do a huge upgrade on like the Motion Plus or something, probably won't be purchasing a Soundcore product for a little while. These are just amazing. When I'm listening to music, I'm hearing everything I need to hear. Everything's separated, surrounded. It's all very nice. Soundstage, superb. I, I literally have absolutely nothing bad to say about them other than the volume. And this is something the A40 also suffers from. At max volume, if you're in a very, very noisy area, you'll come to realize they're not quite that loud. And sometimes you want just an extra notch of volume on these earphones when you've been listening to for a while and you just suddenly think, oh, I'll turn it up. And you're like, oh shit, it's at max volume. One extra notch I think would have made it better. And a lot of people are saying the Liberty Force has done that. It's got that extra notch of volume that people were looking for. So that's nice. That's nice to see that they were listening because in terms of earphones, and I will bring this back up again, the Sound Pete's H1s were the loudest, bassiest, clearest set of earphones I'd ever used, but they never had any other features that I wanted. Very basic EQ based app, very basic design, and it was quite plasticky and a bit poopy. But other than that, sound wise, I couldn't find anything that was as loud or sounded as good. And that's the one thing the H1s will always have over these, just the volume. But in terms of clarity, of course, these are a little bit better uh, and it has extra features such as transparency, a really nice app and a couple other things. So I think I'm going to end it there. If I was going to say buy these, I would definitely say to do it because you've got wireless charging, you've got fast charging for USB-C, you've got a very nice case, which is I don't know if you can hear that, but very satisfying to flip back and forth. And coming from the Liberty 2 Pros, another pair of earphones which I brought for myself, these were just a nice upgrade over the 2s because even these have notch of volume over the 2s. The 2s were really bad for volume, but these are like bearable. For most people, these might even be too loud, but just for someone who's been damaging their ears for the past 10 years, an extra notch volume would have been nice. So uh, yeah, uh, they sound great. They look very clean. They're very nice and uh, they're still a great purchase in 2023 and if you can get these for around 70 pound un under you've got easily a galaxy buds pro beta you've easily got a sound Pete's h2 beta an earfun pro whatever that thing is you know th these are still absolutely worth every single bit of money and, and just because something's got an extra number on it or it looks newer doesn't necessarily mean it's better when it's like 70 pound more expensive and i'm not saying the liberty fours aren't worth it so i'm sure they definitely are but what i'm saying is these are just fantastic even still and i think i ended up getting these in the end for around 36 pound or something i got them very cheap and to be honest that is a completely un 
unbeatable buy compared to other earphones. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon and peace. Bye -bye.